Hey everybody! <laughs> Nakagulat naman. <laughs> uh, uh, hi everybody! Uh, hi! Yun. Hello, we're all here. So, <laughs> so um, Great intro, I love to see it. <laughs> that's it! <laughs> that's all though. So for for the people who are joining us, um, I see some people in the comments now. Hi Tanya, hi Carla. Um, so this is supposed to be a launch of an, uh, my audiobook, Better at Weddings Than You, narrated by Rachel and Gio. Um, so they're here, and uh, <laughs> and Tara's here co-hosting uh, because I need help often <laughs> when, <laughs> when I have to host the thing. So what's happening uh, in this stream is we're just hanging out with Rachel and Gio, actually. Gumawa lang ako ng reason to... <laughs> for, yes, because you miss for, them. Yeah, we miss them, and, and I just wanted a reason to to celebrate the audiobook and also the work that they did uh, doing the audiobook, and also just to talk for a little bit. And I asked pa talaga kung pwedeng live para yung romance class pwedeng magchat and pwedeng sumagot. Yes, <laughs> pwedeng <kung> magkalat. <laughs> In real time, so may kalat potential, <laughs> may, yes. may just, you know, hang out for a little bit because it's, I think it's still going to be a while before we are able to do actual events. Uh, but why not, diba? Usap tayo. So uh, Tara will be helping me with uh, all the technical stuff. And also, kumakik out ako uli ng internet ko. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> Yeah, so again, yeah, I'm I'm so happy to see people um saying hello and showing up and uh so let's get just a few things out of the way, Muna, and talk about the audiobook actually. <laughs> so yeah, um first uh let's say hi to our guests, Rachel Coates and Gio Gahol. Hi. So I like Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> nice, no? Uh, bait natin lahat. Um, can I? So, uh, it's been a while. It's been like forever since the last romance class event. And also, when we do these events, uh, we usually ask you for pre-recorded things. We don't really do stuff live, so we don't actually get to talk to you in person like right now and have people ask you things and have you react to what uh, people are saying about you or to you <laughs> so sige let's uh let's have you uh say hello to the people so rachel rachel with that rachel uh just <laughs> tell tell everybody what you've been up to lately and uh, oh my gosh yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Rachel, and uh, being live is uh, interesting right now in this <laughs> pandemic experience because it's like, oh, I have to learn how to interact with people again. But um, I'm just really happy to be here. Uh, <laughs> I'm just really happy to be here. Um, this project uh, was a foray. I feel like it, it represents like a lot of development in what we've been able to do at Romance Class because uh, I'd never done really cold reads until until Mina came into my life and now it's such a huge part of what makes me happy uh especially now in this pandemic lol um but yeah uh super excited for you guys to hear it and uh that's what I've been doing I've been trying to tell stories in the best way that we possibly can uh in these circumstances and that's all we can do so yeah Thank you, Rachel. Gio, how about you? Kamusta na? And what have you been uh, doing? Uh, wala po akong ginagawa. Tambay lang po. <laughs> Bye. No, I've been... Um, what have I been doing? Well, I've been doing... Sorry pala, guys, if maingay. I'm not at home. I'm in a cafe. That's why. It's okay. <laughs> there are children laughing. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, so... I haven't been doing much. I've been doing a lot of online work for PETA. Uh, I actually went back to doing what I was doing prior to becoming a freelance actor. Um, just been designing uh, for online content uh, and just learning a lot of new things. Uh, because of this work that I've been doing, I've had to learn how to edit videos and compose music <laughs> i don't know wow. and learn learn how to do animation and just being self-taught is I, I mean i could have taken courses but i figured i had the time 
to learn it on my own. So I just did that. I self taught. I, I taught myself how to do all those things, and you know, I guess the prime what I've been doing primarily is just, ano ba, de- developing myself, just upskilling myself because knowing that what I used to do on a regular basis, which was like do theater or like do like act in films, can't really do it so much anymore. So yeah, just trying out new things and hopefully it it becomes fruitful. Like <laughs> I can actually make a career out of doing any of those things that I just learned. You know. Pero tambay pa rin. <laughs> tambay lang po talaga. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we have some questions. You. Yeah, yeah, we, we have, have some questions. questions. But Ooh. we also encourage everybody to ask their questions later for the Q&A portion of this live stream. So, tanong lang kayo, it's fine. We'll get back to them later. So, yun. We'll talk about the audiobook first. So, Mina, <laughs> it's Yay, a question. It's like, this question you. is for you. Um, how did the audiobook happen and why did you choose Rachel and Gio to narrate the uh, the book, the audiobook for <laughs> Better, <laughs> better at when you. <laughs> thank you. First of all, thank you, Tara, for agreeing to host. Uh, <laughs> because if it were just me, kalat natin. Oh, because of every, of every. How are you so sure that, that hindi tayo magkakalat with me around? At least, at <laughs> knock least on wood sure. right now. Oh, oh, I sorry. Divided by four, yung ano, yung kalat. Um, <laughs> yung kalat natin. Yon. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I, w- I actually was inspired to do more audiobooks because when 2020 started the pandemic, it was hard for me to read, like read print books and ebooks. And audiobooks actually uh, were how I got to read a lot of things. Because, first of all, uh, first of all, audiobooks talaga makes things, makes a lot of books accessible to people who um, have, have, uh disabilities reading but especially at least yung experience ko uh when i was doing groceries for four hours just waiting in line waiting in line to get into the grocery waiting in line to pay waiting in line uh it it helped to be listening to romance audiobooks rather than think about what is happening and at the time like we didn't know what was happening we didn't know what to do we right. there was a lot of things that were unsure but i still got to read and isip ko, uh true enough i think there was a a boost in audiobook consumption during that time and it's 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 like someone is reading to you it feels soothing it feels like uh it feels nice to be able to still experience something a story uh eventually i got used to it eventually uh, i realized that uh we know people who can read our stories in a way that we love uh we we actually did this with rachel and geo i mean if you remember uh before we were doing more of the live performing we actually had you in a in a in a room reading and recording lang audio right so that's how we started that's how that's how we thought of doing this kind of storytelling to begin with and we uploaded them as podcast episodes and it just seemed difficult to produce an entire book but naisip ko uh, after some experience having a full audiobook produced i think it's worth it but the first the the thing that was new with this version was that we had dual narrator so um there are chapters kasi na point of view ni, ni male main character and chapters na point of view ni female main character so that's when i thought let's try it with uh with two narrators this time and of course rachel and geo because uh and it's weird though, because they had to record. It's not the live readings that they're together and sagutan sila. They're actually assigned specific chapters. But feeling ko like just because we know how they are together, okay pa rin. Parang may chemistry pa rin kahit na they're reading different chapters all together, right? <laughs> 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 Yon. <laughs> 
yeah <laughs> because of that yon yon so that's it that's it. I, i just thought it was a nice project to do in 2021 while all of this is happening and if it makes people like feel good that they're re- they're reading something or listening to something and it's like some it's like a friend telling them a story uh then it's worth doing i think for sure kamustang uh thunder and lightning <laughs> i heard that <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah yon oh so yeah that's thank you tara for asking <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. So next question. Um. Wait. Hang on. So usually during our live events, um, pinapabasa natin kina Gio at kay Rachel are just you know excerpts of a book, ganyan. And then um, last year we did uh, Hello Ever uh, Hello Ever After, which was uh para written as a script, ganyan. So this time because you had like half a book to read each what was the experience like recording a full a full book or half a book for you know for each of you rachel has had experience now with annoy um iris after the, iris incident. At the incident but yeah yeah but i think it geo i think it's your first time recording a full audiobook yes yeah so, yeah can you tell us what the experience an audiobook was? period <laughs> ah, okay um well you know I had to read the whole thing, <laughs> so I read I read even Rachel's part. Like it was difficult for me not to. Plus, um, I printed it out. I needed it to be hard. But I, I oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> Class president, talaga. Damn. <laughs> no, because it was on, hard Prez. for me. I couldn't read it on my phone. It was hard, it, and I also didn't want to read it just on my computer screen. So I printed the whole book. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So, um, what was the experience like? It's well. For, it took uh, it took me a long time to finish it. Mina knows it. <laughs> it took me a long time to finish it because it, yeah, it was it was very unusual for me because I needed I couldn't do it. The parang okay, I'll just do one chapter today and then parang I I really needed to do it. Na medyo to record things. In terms of gaps, na close to each other, because for good. Oh my gosh, ayan na. What? <laughs> na That's so scary. Na. Okay, so um, because parang it's like when doing a film or a play, na parang I need the momentum. Eh, lalo na, di ba? And may mga breaks pa in between. Like the, I, I was, I couldn't read Rachel's chap. I wasn't reading Rachel's mm. chapters, so. I needed to be prepared to read the next chapter if I skip like one or two chapters uh, after the one that I just finished. So yeah, but it was it was a very interesting it was a very interesting um, experience. Um, I really couldn't do. Uh, I don't know if for those of you who already listened to it, I don't know if my neutral voice was really neutral because apparently I. I can't do neutral. Ako, I'm not convinced that it was a neutral, neutral voice. Parang I can't not read it without feelings. <laughs> so, yun yung parang I had to live with it. Parang okay, Gio, if you really can't pull off a neutral, I guess just do it the way the the, the neutralist that I could. So yun. Um, but ang saya kasi even the the. The voices, which we will gonna be, but we will gonna be, what we're gonna be talking about later on, right? The voices, grab yung challenge na yun, eh. And I, ha- I just have to say, I, ang una kong plan was okay. Yung mga dialogue part, I'll record separately, para I'm consistent with the voice. Wow. I couldn't. I couldn't. I needed to read it in one go. So if you're, if you listen, if you listen to it, I don't know if Tanya, when she was editing, she noticed that. But I didn't pause in between. Konare, it's a dialogue between two people, and it's two different voices. Girl, double kara talaga on the spot. Like I have to be changing my voice in a breath, in the span of one breath. Wow. Ilangan yung girl and boy magagawa ko sa in one go. Kasi ang weird kung 
parang yun lang, hindi lang ako convinced again na tama yung tono if I record it separately. Baka hindi ko siya ma- mapulo. So yun, just sharing. Okay? So pag pinakinggan nyo, I swear, ang hirap talaga. Multiple personality disorder. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, did you since I uh, Rachel's actually recorded like at for me two prior audiobooks. So the process that you described like how how different is yours? Um I feel like I enjoyed this setup a lot more. Um I think it's like uh our readings in the past when so it's just been the both of us and uh in front of an audience and like two or three pages it's like a sprint so like it's easy to pour everything out in one go and to pour all the emotions into like a three page spread right of something that is already emotionally charged because it's an excerpt but um i enjoyed the process of making it a marathon to be honest like i loved growing with the characters and like being able to change my voice as well i felt like it was a it's just like um the voice in your head when you read a book. I was trying to put it onto onto the um onto the recording. So of course a guy would sound like, you know, like a low low register. <laughs> and like the woman would be a higher up or whatever. But it's uh it's been I think the fact that it was at home, it's a, it's so much more of an internal experience. Like I feel like I was able to um really hop on that journey and just like like get locked in a lot easier because in the recording studio it was great but uh for me i felt like okay there's a time crunch i have to get this done and uh i did have a problem before as mina mentioned with speed and uh i feel like that's kind of a little bit better now that i can take my time and record as many times as i want and uh yeah but the physical toll is kind of crazy like you're basically talking for like four or five hours a day or at least like um, for most of the audiobook work I've been doing, so it's like ah, physically it's like how, <laughs> but it's 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 been going really great. So yeah, that's what I have to say. I'm sorry, I'll just plug this laptop in, but <laughs> duck under the table. Yung, ano, eh, this is the kind of experience that Liza Soberano would gain from, <laughs> right? <laughs> like we would. Yes, Gio, what? <laughs> <as> in, <laughs> No, I mean, diba, everyone, everyone kept talking about that was that was an issue, de ba? Her her voicing for yeah. Trese. I mean, I've, I haven't seen it, so I don't know what the real issue is. Pero ganito, ito yung mga exercises na sobrang makakatulog. <laughs> ah, kailangan yeah, yeah. mo ng feeling sa pagbabasa o magbasa ka ng audiobook. <laughs> At, and ano, at yung, yung what Gio mentioned in the neutral voice, so kwento ko lang kasi we had, uh, like that was my instruction to to them na uh, you, you have to have like a neutral voice for narration and then a character voice for, um, like char- uh, dialogue voice for your character. So, and did I follow that, then, Mina? I don't think I followed that. No, but that's also okay because, having trouble, yeah. But that's funny because neutral, I think, is relative. And the the reason why we work with you is because your your neutral is actually quite pleasant. So it's still identifiably Rachel and identifiably Gio. But so yes, yung na nahalata mo Gio na parang hindi neutral. Pero actually okay lang kasi si G si Gio yung nag babasa ng libro sa akin. Si Rachel yung nagbabasa ng libro sa akin. Parang ganun. So, I I actually appreciate that. And it's fine kasi, kasi, like, this is, uh, this is something that we don't do, like, in the industry, we don't do this a lot. This is not, there, we have it established, like, local standards for how this is supposed to be done and what people are supposed to sound like. So, yun, you get to determine what what it is actually and then if the audience likes it then great that's it <laughs> that's what we do i guess what you was are. also what was also going on in my head while i was recording my neutral voice is para how how would i want this to sound if it was being read to me so true true uh-uh. eh, parang, yeah i really need it with, I, I really need to hear it with feelings <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, retweet. <laughs> I need to hear it with feelings. Uh, yeah, like, 
I don't need lip service. <laughs> <laughs> I want I need it with I need it with feelings talaga. True, true. No, I like I I appreciated it. Tsaka yung ano. Pero it's it's interesting kasi we worked together nga before and then you know what you know the kind of voices you need to do to get people to react like in a in a live uh event space diba so feeling ko it's similar but th- the audience is one person pero pinapakilig nyo pa rin sila so it's that i think it's understanding <laughs> if anyone's if anyone's watching and they're interested in narrating audiobook yun yun siguro yung uh naisip ko na parang the goal is yung kilig. Kikiligin pa rin yung one person na yun. Diba? <laughs> Alam na ni Gio agad kung saan kikiligin yung ma- 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 makikinig. For sure. Bago niya na-record to. Dahil print niya yung book. Habang binabasa niya, ah, okay, alam ko na to. Ito, dito, dito. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Kasi ganyan siya sa live reading eh. Rich, oh, how did you record? Kasi uh, the reason also why I needed to print it is because I needed to to ano to mark the pauses to highlight the dialogue para I know if it's a female voice, if it's a male voice. Oh, wow. That's why, that's why I printed it because I couldn't do it. I, first of all, I didn't know how to do it on, on, ano, <laughs> on Adobe Acrobat. Adobe. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> wow. I can edit videos and, and do and animation, do- but I can't figure out Adobe Acrobat. Dude, honestly, it is a challenge. Like, I, um, what I usually do is uh, sometimes Mina gives us the Word document and then I, I highlight mm-hmm. it from there uh but i I just have to be super careful not to like so my read through is already through the uh word document at which point i get to highlight and make my little notes in italics and yeah that's what i do but whenever i get a i I, maybe i should print out i think that might be more (laughs) efficient to be honest yeah and i I just have to share also because my eyes suffered in immensely from this pandemic pandemic. because i'm always yeah that's why i'm wearing glasses so oh, that's why I printed it also because I didn't want to read it off a computer screen. Right, okay. right. Gonna, my eyes are gonna gonna suffer. Baka may blur or something. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so na- yung so, uh, dagdag ko lang kasi like I was thinking uh, when uh, yung yung uh, when I was checking the files that you sent, the realized ko the way that I wrote it. Uh, it's it's also a good test uh, of my writing and also the clarity of it. If you, the narrators, knew who was speaking, <laughs> because sometimes Long. I didn't. Because sometimes I didn't attribute the line to a person. So it's two people talking, and the dialogue. You you assume that this person spoke first and then this person spoke first, but the way that you actually come in and use the voice tells me if it was clear enough or yon. So yon. Thank you. <laughs> but I do need to be. I think we do need. I that's something that I think audio narration or narration in general can help us with that we're writing in a clearer way. Yon. <laughs> Since we're talking, we're, we're just talking to Luis. What's talking? <laughs> Since we're talking about specifics, na like about you know how how they recorded it, printing this, printing the book, and everything. <laughs> Let's talk about your recording spaces. So, um, where did you <gasps> record? Where did you record the audiobook? What kind of equipment did you use? Or is there any special thing that you used to record it? Um, anybody can answer first. So. After um. After the last audiobook, oh no, no no sorry, I had to move my entire recording setup because my aircon um it started to rattle. So <laughs> sorry, I can't think. Can I hear you guys? What? Oh there, I can. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You're okay. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, sorry, you guys here. all muted. I was like, oh my gosh, guys, I can't hear you. But yeah, um, so. I tried, I think I tried for this one with the air conditioner off and in a different room uh, in front of like a pile of discarded clothing. Um, it was wild, dude. It man, The sweat is in- intense, but, and it was the summertime as well. But, <laughs> but at the same time, you know, like I looked at the audio quality, like with the air conditioner on and with it off. And I was like, oh my gosh, you can really hear the difference. That's so sad. <laughs> 
I hate that I can hear the difference. Uh, but yeah, um, so that was a setup um, in front of the garage sale box. And every couple of like minutes, I had to look down because like if I was recording late at night, then a little mis- a little um, cockroach would like just be crawling around there. And I'd be like, yo, get out of here. Or like sometimes in the daytime, you could hear a little bird twittering outside and I'd be like, shut up, bird. You know, I'm recording. But yeah, that's that's the setup. <laughs> the physical setup, yeah. I can totally relate. Okay, so <laughs> this is my game plan. Guys, I record from 10 p.m. until 2 a.m. At the time, what? Because I need I need to record at night because that's the only time my dog, my dog and my cats are gonna be quiet. When the birds outside are gonna be quiet. When there are no cars or tricycles that are that are you know, driving across my street. So it has to be at that time. And what I do, reach because you know, the, the the sweat is. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, Gio! He <laughs> overheated. <laughs> Okay, okay, here I'm it back, comes. I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. So, so that because I know it's gonna be hot, what I do is I turn on my air conditioning at 8 p.m. until 10. So it dies and Smart. then it keeps my room cold. Up na para when I'm recording, I'm not sweating like a pig, right? Yeah. Tapos basic setup, just my iMac and um uh microphone. That's it. The only adjustment lang talaga is I have to do it at night. And that is and that was a difficult thing for me to do because guys, my night my, my sleep time is nine thirty PM. <laughs> same Gio, same. So for all the days that I recorded, it was really you no, know, I have to stay up late. I can't force I can't I can't attempt to record during the day because my email talaga. Yun lang. Oh nga no. Wow. Oh nga no, lalo na, lalo na sa just record, just living here and trying to record something here. Talagang, there's, there's always gonna be, uh, there's always gonna be some, somebody or something or, mm-hmm. or sure. some diba? epis. Yeah, <laughs> or an epis. Epis. And then pets. Yeah. Diba? The, the, fa- the factor of pets. Oh my and, gosh. And uh, you know, one time I was recording, like, I think it was the last chapter and it was like, it was also like 1 or 2 a.m. And I was so tired. But I was recording the last chapter. I was like, we're going to do this. We got this. Rock and roll. And then it started to rain. So I was there. <laughs> oh down there and I was like, literally, I was like, ah, I hate this. <laughs> like, I had to wait for like an hour for the rain to stop. It was crazy. <laughs> so, Tanya, Tanya Arpa is actually the audio engineer who worked on Love the you, audio Tanya. for superhero <laughs> for the my audio god book. tanya thanks so much thank you my so, apologies so much. my apologies <laughs> so if there are any dogs or cats or other wildlife um, and rain uh the audio audio person gets to deal with it uh, so, but but what that means then is so this is possible. You didn't have to go to a studio. You didn't have to go anywhere no. like external. You know, to your I was so close to renting a studio because <laughs> oh my God. I, if I really <laughs> want to be able to do this, like without <laughs> having it. to uh, without having to sleep late, parang, maybe I should just rent oh, a studio yeah. for like eight hours uh-huh. and then just record the whole thing <laughs> in one go. But impossible, no, pare. <laughs> yeah, oh, if ano kasi, if you if you're if you know uh the book, so it's a little under two hundred pages, and when recorded, uh, it came to it came up to just under five hours. So Rachel and Gio actually did two and a half. Uh, so nagulat ako doon na it was like fairly equal pala yung yung kasi awesome. I didn't I didn't know that when I was writing it when I when I wrote chapters kasi it seemed like it seemed like I was writing inconsistently long and short chapters but actually when when you both um submitted your stuff uh it came in at yun two and a half hours each kayong dalawa so how long how long of a recording session is a two and a half hour finished product. For me, it's forever, <laughs> Mina. You already know. She's been in this. This is why I prefer the recording setup at home 
because mm-hmm. uh, I have performance anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> so like whenever there's like a there's like a person watching okay the hours are counted okay i have to get this done mm. within whatever and if bina's watching me or if the sound engineer is even listening to me it gets done so much slower cuz I, i i i trip on my words and uh what's it called at home when no one's watching me uh i can trip on my words as much as i want and re-record as much as i want and that's yeah i think it's like a placebo And then my brain's just like, okay, we're gonna do this, get this done really nicely. But yeah, yeah. So a recording session, two and a half hours took like. Damn, that rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it would. I think it took like f- three, four hour sessions for me. So sixteen hours. 16 oh, or, okay. Or twenty, I think. F- oh, yeah, so I was gonna days. say, all in all, with like the time that yeah, the. the that i needed to to um to put in to finish the entire thing was about 20 hours yeah i mean 20. not not 20 hours of recording uh, but like also just sitting down it even because what i did was i recorded everything first and i explained this to Silamina. i recorded everything first and once i was done recording everything i went through each one listened to it so i can cure some of the honare me I buckled or I said a wrong word or I'm not happy with how I said something or like especially with the voices. Dun lang ako siya, dun ko lang siya cure And then after curing, that's when I uploaded it for, for Tanya and Mina. That's so very class hours. president of you. Like, <laughs> it dude, is. I so, Break no, I, parts. I just, You're making me look think, so bad. <laughs> no, I think I also oh have the, I know, the, I also have the performance anxiety thing. Like, Guys, I really could, parang hindi ako yung mga continuous recording and then if I make a mistake, okay, I'll just I'll keep recording. Parang, okay, I buckled continuous recording and then I'll continue. No, I really stop. I go back. I, parang I go back yeah, and same, then record same. it. Too. So, and then you look at it again? Fuck! Oh, uh, uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. That's why, I mean... Wow! Uh, I mean, that's why, kaya nung... Sabi ko talaga, oh, okay, the moment Mina tells me she has notes or if I did something wrong, I'm gonna kill myself. Kasi the fact that I, I already went through the whole thing again, tapos may mali pa rin, parang, uh, thankfully wala naman. Ito, Thank you. ito, Thank you. ito, ito, ah. ito ha. Uh, just to, I don't know if if people watching are like, dapat ba itong gawin? Um, uh, the way that we work is I would actually, once they submit it, I would actually go through everything and matched and matched with the book and give my notes so uh i could actually there is going to be a stage na yun nga, as a narrator it's okay it's okay to make like little flubs because sometimes those accidental things are nice and unexpected but i'd keep them in anyway because it's it adds something i i actually don't i the way that i check naman these things i don't need them to be perfect exactly as i thought in my head i i would like to see your interpretation and then decide if this is something that i'd want to keep and chances are i would keep it if unless it's like something that really needs to be changed yun lang natawa lang ako kasi when j submitted like kasi the 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 files were big so i would we would be getting the the files in batches like I, and i would be checking them in batches like yeah i didn't actually ask him to change anything <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but I but but I told I was totally ready naman to go through that step and not have you go through it. <laughs> Grabe, yun lang. My gosh, I can I just share my isang part doon. Okay. Th- there were some recordings kasi na you know in, in pagsagutan I also get OC with the gaps between the, the lines between two people. Parang if it if 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 I listen to it and I'm like, okay, it's too obvious that I had to pause so I could switch my voice. I, I really do it again. May mga parts dun na ano eh, na talagang oh, I wanna do this again. Like I need if if if, if it's shorter than a breath, na gap, because I need to. I need to answer again in a different voice. I would rehearse it first. Rehearse, rehearse. Okay, I'll record this na. Ganon. So, wow. I think I'm really, I'm really obsessive compulsive. Like, 
I'm scared to make mistakes. <laughs> I'm scared to make mistakes. That's why. That's the only reason. Uh, it, 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 it really took me so long because I wanted to check everything before it. I submitted. Wala lang. I don't know. <laughs> so, yun, share ko lang na, you know, it doesn't have to be like that. <laughs> if you're, I'm totally fine working with you on that. So, yun. Oh, so Rachel, Rachel, don't worry. <laughs> I know. I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm very happy with the output of my work, but now I'm starting to doubt. Like, <laughs> wait, should I no, be going that, through a second quality no, control? No, dude, it's just me. I'm sick. I'm sick. It's no, a it's sickness. Okay, dude. It's we a good. Sickness. We good. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Well, well I mean, uh, I, I can't wait to hear your stuff, dude. So. Woo! Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'll ask you, pala. Yeah, it's raining here, Nadine. Oh wow! I want to ask you, um, guys, um, what kind of equipment you use? Because we have been looking also for other audiobook narrators who are Filipino, and there have been there have been submissions. There have been people who signed up, and we want to know what kind of equipment you use para you know if somebody listening or, or watching. Recommend. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, it would be interested to do audiobook to record audiobooks for us or for other, you know, for other authors. Any you may recommend you na equipment na nagamit you for for this audiobook recording? That's a really good question, actually, uh, because um, I used to record on an AT twenty twenty, but uh, I I was with Mina and uh, company when it broke down. <laughs> Literally, they were all there and they witnessed like, oh, it's not turning on. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Uh, that was a dynamic. Yes, no, wait, is it a twenty twenty a dynamic or a condenser? Let me just check. I'm like a very I'm a beginner when it comes to like. The equipment, uh, but definitely like a separate microphone a set. Cardioid. It was a cardioid. Yeah. So basically, that what that means is that the range that it can pick up is so wide. Um. So whenever I'd record, and it was like literally like a pin would drop outside my bedroom door, you could hear it. So it didn't really work uh very well. Um, recently for um, Better at Weddings Than You and also Carla's uh, book, um, Sweet On You, I up- upgraded to one of these guys. They are a, is it a dynamic? Something. <laughs> Basta, the one that looks like a karaoke mic. Um, this is an <laughs> SM58A beta. So basically you record with your mouth right on this thing. And if it's plugged into a uh, Scarlet Solo and my favorite new toy, which is the Cloud Lifter, which I used for um, Better at Weddings Than You. That was the first time I used it. I was like, yo, there's no hum. There's like mm-hmm. everything that is it's getting picked up is literally the like this range. And in the back, uh, yeah, I can't really hear it that well. You know what, Tanya? It's pro- you're probably right. It's an SM58, <laughs> sure. So yeah, that's the one. Cool. <laughs> and it's working for me. So yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> thunder uh, yeah how about you Gio ano yung, um, what did you use I just have a, I don't even it, I think it's just like a very entry level microphone the brand is um, Fifine Fifine um, not quite sure the, the microphone the microphone I'm using right now is that is that brand I really F I F I yeah. I'm not yeah. sure how it's pronounced, but yeah, it's F I F I N E. Yeah, that's what I'm using. Uh yun lang. Actually that's it. And then I have that little round thing in mm-hmm. front of it. Para walang ano, like when you when you blow, parang wala siyang <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's yeah. called. Uh, uh, that, oh, a pop filter. There you go, a pop filter. I just have a pop oh, filter. That is, that's, uh, so uh, that's that's like the main thing that we watch out for. I mean, I'm not I'm not an audio engineer. I'm not really. Uh, I I usually just check if uh, if the audio matches the books. But ako kasi what I notice would be background noise and um and My the pops. Birds. 
Yeah. yeah so yon. So it, I mean, it is something that even people who aren't familiar with uh, sound editing engineering would would notice. So yeah, yun yung thing. So people kasi ask sometimes what kind like can they record an audiobook just with a uh, phone voice memo or something but uh, it's it's hard because of those because of those factors like kailangan the quality is um the quality that you get and yung walang extraneous stuff uh dapat dapat mat mawala yun so you need the kind of equipment that that won't uh in that that will let you filter out those things yun because edit, I think editing can only go so far if the if the recording itself is not the best, right? Yeah. Next. Uh, okay, the next question is for Mina. So Ay, ako pala Mina, next. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know that this happens to a lot of romance class authors when we do live readings, live events. Um, people, the authors will sometimes get surprised uh, on how the, the live readers interpret the story or the excerpt or some lines. <laughs> so um, with Better at Weddings Than You, did anything in the recording surprise you? And was there something unexpected that um, came up that you that wasn't what you originally imagined for it to sound like? Uh-oh. Uh, for Rachel, wala, wala akong surprise. I think uh I got used to how Rachel does the recordings now. So I kind of expected, I mean, I appreciated uh, the the little surprises that she would give, but not completely surprised. Yung kay Gio, since first time, parang everything was a surprise. Parang wait, wait. <laughs> like, yan yung, yan yung like the first time I listened para to like the first minute. I was like, wait, okay, I need to, <laughs> I need to, to uh, get used to this. But, and then of course I needed to listen to it, like as to listen to everything and compare it with the book. So it kind of got not so, not so emotional uh, at some point. But yung surprise for me na natuwa talaga ako is there's, uh, and I mentioned this to you, Gio, you, um, uh, and also on Twitter, uh, there's a there there's uh like very short uh segment in the book where it's like testimonials so it's like uh testimonials uh about Daphne's work from a wedding website uh and you know, or so uh so Gio would actually make the voices of the people who wrote the testimonials and there's a scene where uh Aaron is was like recalling uh weddings that he's done uh and planned and the vows so there's snippets of vows that the that the brides said during the ceremony and full acting <laughs> full, full acting yung vows <laughs> like he's like, like they're yung teary eyed pa sila, yung bosses nila. Te- like they're in tears because they're 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 saying the vows to their husband during the wedding. So yeah, that was a surprise, and I laughed talaga. And uh, and and again, that's not expected. Uh, I didn't even think of that when I was writing it. It's not something that I expect to hear even in a in narration. So it's just one of those surprises that. Yeah, <laughs> full cast record. What if though? As if, but but I actually instruct the narrators to. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a radio drama. It doesn't have to be super acting. But maybe you know. Uh, again, we're making our our rules here. Maybe just a little, a little bit can can you know spice it up. Thank you, Gio. <laughs> Wait, I don't. Ano talaga? I don't know what to say. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. If I can't read it without feelings, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, yung... Uh, pero it's difficult naman talaga. Pero any, like, really, like, steamy scene, yun, uh-huh. that's always gonna be a surprise. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just gonna. Yeah. 
yon um so thank you yeah that there are links to buy the audio yes I, I wala <laughs> oh. so everybody who's um watching if you're curious and want to listen to the audiobook links to the to the audiobook to buy the audiobook are in the description below this video also we want to invite everybody who's watching to please like this video right now we want we're we are, okay. we are um, hungry for um attention and engagement <laughs> always and if you're not um subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe um so that you will not miss any of our future streams because marami pa promise <laughs> yes <laughs> fun and galat yes okay the next question is for Gio and rachel so um which parts were difficult to record so anybody can answer first uh sabihin ko na yung mga may mga ano kasi chapters where there were more than two people <laughs> yes true okay. dude oh. that's it like that scene people, at the, yeah. yung that scene at the party Mina, parang, oh, I'm crap. so sorry. How am I gonna do this? <laughs> yeah, that was, but it, it was also fun. Kasi there were two girls and two guys in that scene. And then also the scene where of of Aaron, Aaron and his sister and the sister's friend. Like, I needed to make sure that the two girls were very different in, in terms of voice. So... Eh, nagsasabatan pa sila. So, talaga, oh my gosh. Sige, <laughs> kaya natin to. So, generally, I think all the scenes where there were there were more two, there, there were more than two people um, with dialogue. I'm so Yun sorry. But, yeah. <laughs> but it was fun. <laughs> uh, as usual, guys. It's such a challenge because I, rec- I mean, at, at this moment in time, I live at my parents' house. So um, it's just whenever there's a Stevie scene, I gotta like, yo, I gotta like <laughs> reinforce the barriers of like, I gotta put some like, it's like there's a fire outside. I have to put some like insulation <laughs> under the door, you know, like, because you can't do it with, again, like Gia said, you can't do it without feelings, dude. Like, especially for a <laughs> novel like this one, it was like, you're waiting and waiting and then it finally happens. So, I mean, does it happen or whatever? I don't know. You be the judge. But Ayon, it's just steamy stuff. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard when it's just you. And you have to be like, oh, now he, now this is him. Now this is her. Now it's just. Ah! I get I'm shy. I'm like, to, a, I'm like a seven year old. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, it's great. I mean, the, the, it's beautiful writing. So they should be very, you know, they're lucky to hear it. But yeah. Woo. Good work. <laughs> Is there any scene that's your favorite? Do you, do you remember any yes. scene? That's but your, I don't want to. I don't want to say it. But I, I oh. can tell Mina <laughs> in private. But I don't want to say which scene it is. But it's near the end, and it's the one. It's the one. Uh, it's, I'm gonna spoil it. Uh. What's that? Yeah, go. Uh, okay, lang. Okay. I can spoil it. The yeah, confrontation yeah. scene when she's being um interviewed for her video. Yeah, no, I was gonna say I love oh. your work there. I, I freaking actually, love that scene. I was like, I at the really scene, I was like, love, I love what you did. Yeah, oh my God, I love dude. what you did. Uh, it's Helen. Yung, I love yeah, your Helen. Your, I love your Helen there. Yung parang Helen finally like, and she uh, freaking burst. Out. I was like, yo, yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah. but honestly though, like the reason it was so. St- I'm Helen. Like I feel like I'm Helen. I feel like I would wait to the very last second and be like, "Do I? Do I? Not nah, f everything." Like ah, and then just go wild out, dude. That- <laughs> I do. I do love that, and it's funny because I love her so much. Like, like it's not a scene with the main romance couple. So feeling uh, like even even if we were to do a reading, we wouldn't choose that. It's really like a scene that's that's. Uh, yeah. That only became enjoyable for me when I heard it in the audiobook. <laughs> oh my and gosh! Gl- but it's so, well it. it's so I'm well done. It's so well done. It was beautiful, man. It's so it's so great. And um, yeah, that scene and, and the ending scene, I did tear up a little bit. I was just like, <laughs> there's a lot of beautiful relationships in the book, so it's just um, yeah. It's just uh, really lovely to be able to bring that to life. But yeah, 
Oh, oh stop it's, oh, no, it's, it's, it's funny that you chose that, Rachel, because I like the scenes before that scene and after. Oh, yeah, those are so yeah. tense. I love those yeah. scenes. <laughs> Those, yeah, those I, yeah, I like that. Intense. I also feel like girl, come on, speak oh, no. the truth. <laughs> don't 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 Actually, yun, uh, I I also enjoyed yeah exactly what you're saying, Gio. The one after, the one before and the one after. You're right because you did uh you did you did the scene uh you did the scene with with Aaron and Helen and then Aaron and Daphne after after Helen sort of like lets it all out. Yeah, yeah, I like. Thanks, I love, <laughs> and it's something I did appreciate nga lang in the audiobook in that way. Uh, because because of how you perform, Helen. <laughs> but uh, I love her though, and I, I, I mean, uh, that's one of the merits of reading the book beforehand, right? Uh, it's just like uh, the tiny little change in the voice is what I. I mean, she she's so soft spoken throughout the whole book. Uh, and I tried to put that in in whenever she would speak, you know, like um, as opposed to Daphne, who's so self assured, and Aaron, who's obviously a man, and um, her fiance, who's like out there and like very gregarious and whatever. But it was so fun playing with it because she's so soft spoken at the start, and she is throughout the whole book. And then when she blows up, it's like, yeah, it's great stuff. <laughs> so much fun to play with. Oh my gosh, so much <laughs> color in all the characters is so so fun to bring to life. And I think that I, I mean the, just just the the way that you share that you actually that you both of you actually read the book uh, because we we talked about this before uh, just uh, when when talking about how effective they are at the readings at at events and everything and we were thinking you know how how do you how do you teach this to people how how do you have an event that has a similar like feel, even if it's not Rachel and Gio performing. And and the, these two just said, we're not doing anything special. We're just reading. We we just understand what we read. <laughs> like, I remember and, this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I think I think you do bring something uh to it because you because you read it. So maybe Yun, if anybody's interested in reading audiobooks uh, or narrating that's be, like being able to connect to the material and reading it will probably help uh, which is why it's cheating when it's romance class because you're always going to connect to the material it's like <laughs> it's cheating it's so like immersive so just playing in a world that's already built for you so it's great I, <laughs> I wanted to say something but <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, <Tara. laughs> No, but the, recently we have had like a romance last book, right? That got an audiobook, and we were like, why does it sound like this? <laughs> oh my God, P, I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Uh, no, next, I, qu <laughs> this, next question. <laughs> Okay, it's not always like that. It's it's uh yeah, it's probably like the 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 easiest way to <laughs> to answer that. Nah, there there yeah. there has to be some connection to the material, and also the but not discounting that we probably ha got so lucky to be introduced to the two of you, who are actually naturally talented at this. So maybe that's it. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's also it. <laughs> But also, we've been working together for so long, so there's also the idea ah, that yeah. that that we we know that your voices are our characters, and and you Stop. also know, and you also know how to take a character we've written and give them a voice. So I don't yes, know. There's correct. that. Yeah. You know, I think I I honestly think. Um, when you're recording an audiobook, it really helps if you know the, the author, or at least if, in our case, we're very familiar with the community because we're, you know, we're part of it already. So, 
like in the the reason why I keep saying I have to read it with feelings is because I know that the the ones who wrote it wrote it with feelings. So I can't not you know what I mean? Like I'm I'm definitely not gonna do justice. And it's not like you guys just wrote it because simply because you like writing. You know what I mean? So and we've seen the amount of um emotions, the feels that that you know that we have within the community. So it just makes good sense to read it in a way that I could picture the one who wrote it how she was he or she was feeling when the scene was being written was being put into uh, onto onto the pages diba? so yun maybe I mean, yeah <laughs> like can I just say you know Mina because I never asked how up until now I, I, I'm assuming I said the name right because <laughs> Because you didn't correct it, yung Liza. As in, oh my gosh, oh, Liza yeah, Bato, yeah. Liza Bato. Oh, oh. Para, it's fine, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I yeah, like, I feel like Stuff we all Liza. took a risk. I was like, yo, <laughs> this better be Liza. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, I, wow, I, I, was, I can't I was believe our brains like, are so in sync, Gio. I know. <laughs> Liza, I like, Liza. So, I, I thought that too, but if this was Rachel, she'd probably say Liza. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go with Liza. <laughs> Good call. Good call. So, Payon, you, don't, you, you didn't get to rehearse together, like, unlike I know. before, diba? So, you were and recording Mina's separately. And pronunciation guide that before yeah. the programs, I always like, Mina, how do you pronounce this? <laughs> I think yeah, I said uh, yeah. ethereal. Yeah, there, there was like the word ethereal, and then I was like urethral. I kept saying urethral. <laughs> you were like, it's ethereal. It's ethereal. <laughs> urethral, <laughs> girl. <laughs> I think that that well, leads us to our next question from the from the um, audience. <laughs> Yeah, audience says, questions. Nah, thank you. What is the funniest error you've ever made when recording the audio book? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, oh nga. Good question. Was there thank any, you, Alyssa. Yeah, was there any error that's like, oh that my. made you laugh? Or... <laughs> Can I share? <laughs> yeah. yes. It's really my favorite when this happens. Because even though you like rehearse it beforehand, sometimes I really do get mixed up, especially when I'm flustered, when it's like a steamy scene. And, like, I remember, like, I was doing one CV scene, and it was so funny because, like, I was recording it, and I was getting into it, like, yeah, uh, whatever. And then uh, I was, like, and then parang it got to the part where, like, he was, like, basta, basta, something was happening. And then I was, like, wait a second, this isn't lining up. Like, how, why is she doing that? And I was, like, oh, shit. <laughs> got the big stuff. So, like, <laughs> I was like, but I was like, in my brain, I was like, okay, sexual liberation, you know, like, you do you, you know, like, you know, like, but it turns out I was mistaken. Um, so I had to retake that. But yeah, that was my funniest mistake, I think. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Ako hindi mistake eh. Pinagtatawaran ko sarili ko because of the different voices. Especially, especially the very last voice I had to take, to take the last chapter that I recorded, the one with um, Helen's Great. fiance. Uh-oh. Yeah, because parang, oh my god, I think I've run out of voices. What do I do for Greg? <laughs> <laughs> so actually, it it took me a long time to finish that chapter only because I was getting annoyed and I was just laughing at myself for picking <laughs> that voice for Greg. <laughs> if you've listened to it, I think you'll understand why. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a, parang, it's the villain character, so parang, uh-huh. pag, uh, yeah, there's like a, a, a voice, like a way to, to it, uh, and then, yeah. and then if you're doing that voice, yeah. Some yeah, of the voices what, yeah. are, some of the voices are funny, and they, they're not around for, for very long, like the character, pero, nakakatawa din the voices that, that they end up getting, so yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, next question is from Jella. How different is a live reading to recording an audiobook? Does the live audience make a difference in the delivery on the delivery? Yeah. 
Nothing absolutely. compares. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. If only I mean, my cats yeah. could react to what I was reading, right? Para at least I get some sort of reaction. <laughs> Oh nga no because uh yeah uh hi Jella so Jella actually records the video for the every time we do events what? so if you if you've ever watched a video on YouTube of a live reading and you hear people react and hear people laugh diba? and then you have to pause because people are laughing or people are feeling feelings um uh, yeah so what what do you do when there's no feedback uh, wait for you to listen to it and then we can talk about <laughs> it <laughs> yeah. to be honest like i would have loved to have had somebody to talk to there's always this empty feeling when you say the last chapter and then you say the end and then it's just like where is the where who can i talk to about this you know like <laughs> Which is why it's great we're having a lunch so we can talk about it, you know. But yeah, oh, yeah. miss oh, that maybe feeling. That's it, then. Maybe that's why I wanted to do this. <laughs> <laughs> See, Gio, then uh, I think you were sending messages about particular voices that you did or scenes. And then it's interesting uh, because that's true because it's a five-hour book. Even if I told people to start listening, the reaction is not, the reactions won't be instant. The, the reactions are not, immediate when 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 you want something in particular diba? like like ah, i wonder how they react to this voice that i did in chapter 21 <laughs> but no you don't get that right away and you don't you might not even get that for months or or it's just it's just how it is oh nga, that it it is different <laughs> i'm sorry about that so if you're listen and then you have a reaction to any of the voices that they did, please tweet and tag them para para may feedback. Yeah, I guess that's, that's also one great. of the reason. Well, that's also one of the reasons why I listened to my recording again. Because yung, I really closure? needed to be convinced. Yeah, I needed to be convinced that I I read. I narr- I read the chapter from the beginning until the end. Like I'm convinced I closed the chapter. But everything that I needed to I needed to feel was felt when the chapter ended. Okay. That's deep. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's deep, pare. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the question, Jella. Do we have another? Yes, we have another one. This one's for you, Mina. Carla says, how did you brief Gio and Rachel when you started the project? Hmm. Uh, so it's easy briefing Gio and Rachel because we've done this so many times and they're kind of familiar with, with how I write and the stuff I've written and also what's inside the book. So I think, I think if you're talking to somebody... Uh, who is going to narrate for you if it has sex scenes or if it has complicated languages or whatever, you probably need to include that in your briefing. But Gio and Rachel, because they're familiar, they kind of um, knew, uh, I'm guessing, what what to expect, uh, like what was in there. Uh, but we had an email. So I had everything in an email. I had uh, like uh, my suggestions for the neutral narrator voice, um, just how it would work because they would i knew they would be working separately so ang nangyari, rachel finished everything first so uh i was able to at some point uh, i was able to give geo uh like a link to rachel's uh ah! entire thing <laughs> no so- <laughs> wait i didn't know that <laughs> yeah i listened i listened to your to your track so so that actually ah, might like work. That. <laughs> <laughs> that actually might work better if you have two people working separately, diba? Like someone takes the lead, and then uh, and then the other person can adjust, uh, and unless they actually meet the other person can it. adjust and then like re-record it like five <laughs> times. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> so yeah, and and then uh, and then I added. Uh, if if I was particular about pronunciation, I added not just uh, not just like a phonetic spelling, but 
if I could include like a sound file or a voice uh, or a link to someone pronouncing it, I, I had to add it there. And then, um, yeah, mostly that. So yun yung briefing and then schedule. But uh, even if I gave a schedule, uh, it's it's a pandemic. There's everyone's like worried about other things. So th there was like a kind of a deadline, but not really. It was more of like whenever. And and again, it's like a lot of work that you have to immerse yourself into and feel feelings. So. I I I always prioritized that if they needed time or if they needed just yon and then if it's not kasi an emotional thing it's like roosters and dogs so so yeah. <laughs> yun we we have to make allowances for for uh people trying to find the right time to do this so yon may ganun uh but I write books that are not very long um and and this project was just several months in the making and even when the final output came in it wasn't a lot then of hours of of audio to put together and release so yeah and that's uh that that's it's i think a good like project to do when it's a short book and uh, but it's a full story uh i think rachel you've you've done projects where like more than eight hours or eight hours young, yeah um, young I'm, i think my longest is now uh, 11 11 hours or 10 10 or 11 yeah <laughs> so that is the marathon that i speak of that's it's been it's yeah been some wild, books but... are longer our books are not that long so it's uh <laughs> it's like a nice project that won't like last forever if anybody's going to be narrating it mm. yeah so yeah Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes, we have a question from Tanya for Gio and Rachel. Any new audiobooks from you in the pipeline? Um, hoping that everything is approved for the next one. Uh, I'm doing a, a project called The Human Zoo by Sabina Murray. And I'm, I'm really excited about it um, <laughs> because, it, I mean, it's got a little bit of everything and it's set uh, in the Philippines. So... Of course, it's near and dear to my heart. And uh, yeah, honestly, like I was on the edge of my seat from the start to the finish. And a lot of accents I also get to play with it, in that one. So um, yeah. But to be honest, it's like it was a, one of the first books I did that was like a heavy, really, really heavy. Uh, so <laughs> I didn't anticipate how uh, it would take a toll on your you emotionally i think that because uh with romance class i love i love the books because uh, i i can predict how i'm gonna feel uh because you know how doing audiobooks is such an internal experience you're locked in your room it's you at 2 a.m reading something that's going to have an effect on your uh health because you're reading it with feelings and you have to feel it and you have to go you know journey with it and yeah uh, but maybe that's just a testament to how well it's written. So I'm excited for it to come out that it affected me in a in a way. So yeah, awesome. <laughs> Yay. None for me. None for me. Although I did recently get um, an inquiry. Very yes! I mean, hindi pa yes! sa, I bet, Yeah, it's still up get for it, this king. Stuff, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was saying... Um, if as long as as long as Gio and Rachel are willing uh, to or have the time to do it, I think you should all get in touch with them and please do. And, this is my favorite <laughs> thing to do ever. And so have please. them and have them do audiobooks for you. Uh, it's it's really like I mean highly recommend it. Yeah. So I think I think what I'll do is not just here in in YouTube description, but I'll tweet like your i'll tweet ways to contact you in case people want to hire us narrators and uh, just watch out for like the future yes. of books hire that them. Will be rating yeah yon <laughs> okay we have so another much. question from Alyssa. so she says how long do you guys generally generally record in one sitting before your voice gives out hmm. four, four hours long. four hours is my yeah. period and, and I think Mina also experienced this uh, when when we were stuck in the studio. Uh, oh, the first time we did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I really knew how to how to do the marathon, I think, 
uh, it was four hours, and then I'd start to get so croaky, or I would, you know, my my I'd become a lot more monotone. Uh, and of course, you could power through it and and try to get the same tim timbre of voice as he did in the first couple of hours. But after the fourth, I found it it really starts to disintegrate. So uh, usually an hour does it. Hour bike ride, then come back and uh, do it again, and you're you're good as gold. So yeah. Um, my, my voice doesn't give out. Wow, ang yeah, bang. Wow. No, 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 no. Oh my just, gosh, <laughs> guys, don't even hire me anymore. Just hire this one. No, shut up. Shut, no, Five that's reviews. Not what I, I just, I just, I just print and copy. But, <laughs> no, I just mean I don't. The the quality of my voice doesn't change. It's more of I'm emotionally tired. Uh, gonna, uh, oh my God, I, I, I can't feel anymore. Ganun. I can't feel anymore. So, ganun din, four hours. After four hours, it's just, okay, I think I've had enough. And, yeah. Kasi naman, Rage, also the voice. Noted, noted. I, I'm, I'm losing, using a lower register, so it's a oh, good vibration. Oh, that's true, that's true. So it doesn't get tired. I'm just about. fooling with you. I'm, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm sure it sounds lovely. <laughs> Do you follow some kind of um do you take care of, how do you take care of your voice? Is, is it like when you're singing for theater? Do you also, you know, drink whatever stuff and wrap your wrap your throats with um like a scarf or anything before you record? How do you take care of your voices? Uh, I actually vocalize before recording for this one. Like I would vocalize. I mean as in pangkantang vocalization. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yun yun na ko eh. I'll just follow it. It's just a it's just an eight minute track of na, na vocalization. I just follow it and then I can go straight to recording. Same. Okay. That and uh steaming helps a lot. Cause it helps oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know why. It helps soothe everything. But yeah, I put my put my head in the towel and just like inhale all this steam and yeah. Helps me a lot. Welcome to the show, Chi. Hi, Chi. <laughs> she we're, made we're it. Just, she made it. Yan? We're Oba just yan? about to wrap up. <laughs> what happened to Mina's um, video? She tapped out. I, no, she's still here, but I think she can she's hear us. Audio she's, only. Yes. Yeah, What's audio up? Only. <laughs> Ayan, sorry. Late ka kasi, kaya ikaw yung nakafocus. Sa'yo nakafocus lahat. Char. <laughs> <laughs> and okay so i think that was our last question the one from Alyssa. if anyone has any more questions for Gio and rachel you can still write them down in the comment section um let me scroll up and see if i missed anything <laughs> oops it really happened mina's <laughs> mina's gone <laughs> oh no <laughs> just when we're about to end Sakto lang. <laughs> I'm curious pala. Um, since, uh, Rachel, the, 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 the new audiobook that you're going to record, is it also a romance or is it a different genre? Uh, there's uh, some romance in it, but uh, I think you could classify it more as a political drama. So, Ooh. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a... So, yeah. it's set in the Philippines. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It's really good. <laughs> I mean, I thought that, um, you know, it, the, the, my attention span during the pandemic has been, it's suffered a lot, but it gripped me. So, uh, yeah. Ah! If you <laughs> I just want to keep doing it forever, honestly. But yeah, um, I wrapped it up just last week, so I'm still like recovering. Oh, but, okay. Yeah, so it's good. still pretty, it's still pretty recent. A little fresh, yeah. But I'm excited for it to come out, so. If there is any genre apart from romance that you would like to do audiobooks for, what what do you think that would be? Romance, for both of you. Uh, science fiction. Science, science fiction. fiction. So many things to play with. Because, yeah. How about you, Gio? Parang pang romance lang talaga ako eh. What? <laughs> no, pang romance. Because, no, only because I enjoy Like, I would love science fiction, pero... I just, I can't picture it. 
I think personally, like I don't think I I be I I'd be effective reading science fiction. Like, you would, or like romance, oh, like one, mystery or... thriller or like a horror one. Horror, you'd be good for horror. Do oh, a horror oh. one. What are you trying to say, Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> you like to do voices, and then you can like, you can play with like, how? Yeah, I've never heard you try to be scary. So let's. <laughs> that would be wild. <laughs> okay, someone write a horror romance. What? <laughs> yeah, some paranormal romance. Uh oh, with the balance and stuff. <laughs> Hot. Ayan, so we're, Hot. we have another question for Gio. How do you? How did you decide on the specific voice and tone to do for the minor characters? I, oh. I think that also uh, applies to Rachel. So we'll ask Rachel yeah. that as well. Like, oh, I have to imagine. The, their physical form. What? Wow. No, seriously. Oh like, I need, I need to have an, a physical form in my head. Parang, oh, she probably looks like this and dresses this way. And yeah, and then, and then I'll just like play it up from there. Like That's how I figure out what kind of voice I would use for for the minor characters. Inisip mo pa ba kung ano yung ano nila? Parang background? Saan sila nag-aaral? <laughs> like how, how they know each other, where they know each other from. Yeah. But usually the physical already gives me a lot to work with. Ah, okay. Like even how they, sorry, because I've done voices for uh, for animation. And <laughs> ano talaga, diba, I'm sure you've seen it also in for animated films and they show how the actors were recording. They telegram you have to physicalize some of the action. So I also I also did that for some of the characters. Especially for the fun funny sounding ones. Parang they have to have some sort of mannerism. Na a quirk or gan because it works when when I say the line and then like you na nakapamewa it adds a, a, an interesting quality to the voice also. Hmm. What about you, Rachel? What's the how, um, what's the process? Uh, for me, it's it's like uh, for you read the book beforehand, right? And it's like uh, it's 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 kind of like developing a shorthand of a vocal shorthand for uh, for each character because, um, like Mina said, there's so many like different scenes where people are talking to each other, and um, sometimes. The simpler you can go is the better. Like uh, for me, lang, cause um, you know, like if I'm listening to an audiobook, I don't have time to pause and say, "Hey, hold on, who's talking right now?" So, um, like for example, for Daphne, she's strong, sexy, confident. So those are the three adjectives in my head when I'm when I'm speaking her um, tone of voice and female. Uh, for Aaron, strong, sexy, confident, and male. Uh, and you know, when Greg's speaking, because it's a uh, very gregarious, high, a little bit of a, a tenor. Uh, so I feel like you can get, you know, a lot about his character just by like the way he sounds. And Daphne, mine him, you know, like a little bit quiet and subdued. Uh, and yeah, once I have those three adjectives, I feel like I can just play around in that arena. And hopefully the audience gets it right away because that's like the number one priority for me that, you know, they aren't lost. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> But the the physicalizing it helps as well. I'm just not as a, I'm not a dancer, so it's not doesn't come naturally <laughs> to me like it comes to Gio. So yeah. All right. Thanks, Rachel. Um, yeah, that's probably it. It's like it helps me with yeah. the time. Yeah. That's really cool, though. I like how very different you <laughs> your processes are. Because yeah, no, yeah. It, it also shows. Yeah, it also shows your the the way you think. It it gives me you know, it gives me a view of how you both of you attack a project. It's very different, but also very effective. So you know, okay. So we have an, another question here, but Mina's not here yet. She's she just disappeared. She appeared uh, on my okay. screen. It's the rain. Okay, so we'll talk about Mina, <laughs> but she's not here. <laughs> okay, she's back. Um, hang on. Hey, welcome back. Ooh. Can you hear us? I'm Can so you hear sorry. Me? It's okay. We, we, 
just in time because we have a question for you from Mitch. It uh it says here what makes uh what makes writing a book different from writing an audio book? Is there any difference? Um, hi. You're, hi. Can you see me? Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we can see and hear you. Can you see and hear Parang, us? I know it's. The, is there a delay? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, that's probably just me then. Okay. Uh, so, it's actually no different from uh writing because it's the same book. Uh, but what 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 gives like uh, if I know that it's going to be an audiobook, uh, I am aware that I need to be clearer with how I write. So yon, that's uh, like if I knew that something would be produced as audio, I would do it all over again. Wow! Did you edit Bamina when you when you um, sent Rachel and Gio the the book? Did you edit some parts to make it more clear to them who's speaking or? Did you do anything to to tweak the manuscript? Uh no, I didn't. Uh, no. I didn't edit anything. Uh, what happened lang was uh, if something was unclear, uh, I just heard it in the output, and uh, but I didn't ask. I didn't change anything, and I didn't ask them to do anything differently. It was just like feedback for me. Okay, thank you, Mina. So I think that was a, the last question. I was scrolling up the chat earlier, and that was the last question that we have. Um, Mina, do you want to thank say you. anything to everyone in the audience? Uh, so, wait, I just want to, before my internet completely fails me, uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. Uh, thank you to Rachel and Gio, who did such a great job. I will keep talking about how great a job they did. And uh, I hope you get a chance to listen. The links are in the description. And I want to be able to do more of this, more of audiobooks, more, more work for everyone, and uh, hopefully more romance class books as audio. Yon, thank you. <laughs> and thank you very much, Gio and Rachel. Thank you for joining us tonight in this audiobook thank you for launch, us. despite thank the you for weather. Us. <laughs> oh my, it's really thundering <laughs> now. Yeah, it's raining here as well, and the thunder is very loud. Um, to everybody in the audience, thank you for joining us. Um, and again, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do. I think we are just one person away from 600 subscribers and <laughs> just help us uh, get that milestone and then also please like this video right now if you're watching it and leave comments after after the stream if you'd like to thank you very much bye have a good thursday evening thank you thank bye, you for, for joining us bye thank you for joining us bye